Hey, what's up guys? Today, I just want to encourage you as a Christian to rejoice in the Lord for what he's done for you through his son Jesus, through the death and resurrection of Jesus, and then saving us by God's grace through our faith in Christ. Um, and so, man, if you're a follower of Jesus, if you're trusting uh, in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I just want to encourage you to rejoice in God today, this week, every day, and for eternity. Um, in Philippians 4, verse 4, we are called to rejoice in the Lord always. And so I want to read a passage from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. And I want to encourage you to look this passage up yourself and just reflect in it. Because like, I think, man, when we read this passage, we can't help but to rejoice in God for what He's done for us. And so Peter here, he's talking to Gentile Christians. He's talking to the church here. And he says, but you... You, church, are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for His possession, for God's possession, so that you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So what Peter is saying, man, if you are a follower of Jesus, if you put your trust in Christ, like you are now a part of God's people. Like let that just marinate in your soul and let that cause you to rejoice in God and, and love and desire Him and just praise Him for what He's done. And look what it says. Uh, it says, you are now a people for God's possession so that you may proclaim his praises. Like as Christians, we are saved to enjoy God, to rejoice in him for his goodness and his mercy and grace. And then we're called to go and, and make him known. We're, we're called to go and tell people of the goodness of God and that, man, they too, through Jesus, can be a part of God's people. And so I want to encourage you today as a Christian, man, just to rejoice in God for what he's done for you. Like, like he has brought you from not a people to his people. He has brought you in as his possession. Like he loves you so much. And we know this and we trust this because we believe in the gospel. We believe that Jesus died for our sins and we believe he rose from the dead and he's alive today. And we believe that by trusting in him that he lives in us and now we are God's chosen people. We are a part of his family and his people. Man, let this lead you to rejoice and worship in God daily. Thank you guys. Peace.